Welcome to another episode of Biz Money Talks. I am your host, Tracy Bissett. I am a financial coach for entrepreneurs, and my mission is to increase business owner financial fitness. And so anything I can do to help you better understand your financials, improve the results of your company, I'm all for it. And that includes bringing great guests to you who can help you. I am so excited today. We have a very special guest. I'd like to welcome to the show, Shelly Grace. Welcome, Shelly. Hi, Tracy. It's great being here with you today. Excellent. And we are excited that you are here. You have so much amazing information to share with us. Um, so she is the owner and founder of Lead Up, a company helping women strategize, stand out, and scale their businesses. And you did this for yourself as a former school principal and working mom of two. And I'm not going to give away any more of your background because uh, I'd love it if you can share in your own words a little bit more about your background and especially about your business. Okay. So like Tracy said, I am a former school principal. I'm a mom of two. And what happened was when I was a principal, a law came out about charter school movements and No Child Left Behind. And basically it was a passion project that I decided to do to help parents because I love educating others and I love empowering others. So I wrote a book just to give the information that wasn't being given on school choice options and to make it easy to read because a lot of times academia tends to be very confusing. And Tracy and I know because we both, <laughs> we both teach at universities, right? We're adjuncts as well. well I'm an adjunct. But anyways, it's it's confusing. And I wanted something that was snappy and it was easy and that parents could just pick up and understand and help their child with the best school option for them. So I wrote this book and then I realized that there was such a need. I, there was a huge gap in that space where people weren't helping parents. Information wasn't being given. And not that it wasn't being given. It just wasn't being given in a way where parents could understand it. So that one book led me down an amazing journey, which turned out to be really, really a big side hustle enterprise. I had to take on an, a partner. We ended up um, working together and co-authored six books with Wiley. I became the Fox education expert for four years. I began to speak on stages and sell my books, and I just created a whole all kinds of recurring income streams from the book. I created courses. I was coaching parents on the side. And at the time, I was also a mom. So it was all about the juggle and the struggle. And, and finally, 10 years in, we scaled to seven. And then, you know, we closed the business. Wiley still sends us if we have any advance. You know, we, we got a huge advance. So if we have any royalties, they send us the royalties. But now what I do because of that is I help women do that for themselves. So I think it's important that if you have information, I always tell people to write it down and memorialize it as yours. Intellectual property is so important to put down and to copyright. So that's what I did. And I just loved it because I helped so many parents. It was so impactful for me. And I bet when you, you started out teaching and then you became a principal, you never thought that that was going to be in your future. Like It probably wasn't even a thought in your mind. Never. It never was a thought. And for those of you that are listening and you have great corporate jobs or your CEOs, you know, we all have a shelf life. And I knew one of the reasons why I felt that not only was it a passion project, but there was so many amazing people that were retiring from, you know, the, the district, because I worked for the fourth largest school district in this nation. In fact, our superintendent was on Face the Nation the other day. So our school district is a really big deal. Um, some of our schools are the size of small cities around the country. I had a school with 1,500 students and uh, a huge staff. I managed 150 employees. I had a $10 million yearly budget. So it was it was huge. So what I'm saying is we all have a shelf life. I realized that I had information that I could help someone with, shorten their learning curve. So why not write about it and share it? And that's how I, I created a business from my book. Excellent. And as business owners, it is so important to make sure we have steady lead flow, that we are ultimately converting people into clients. 
And really, we can't do that if we've just got our heads down, working mm -hmm. hard, not looking around, not providing the value. And so we really need to be able to curate our impact, our influence, which ultimately leads to, as you've talked about, that um, reoccurring revenue and cash flow. And I'm all about um, business owners making as much money as they can to give them freedom, flexibility and choice. Um, so I think it's so great that you're here with us to talk about this. Thank you. When you were talking about um, the school district and where you're working, um, I'm based in Canada and Shelly is in the U.S. Um, just to give uh, listeners a framework who may be in different parts of the world who can can get a sense of that. And so I mentioned business owners head down, really focused on what they're doing and thinking that that if I just work hard, I'm going to be successful. And we know that that's not always true. So can you share with us um, from your experience and what you've seen with others, why visibility is so important and what ways business owners can actually increase their visibility or get started being visible? Because it, it can be hard at the beginning. Mm -hmm. It can be very hard. So visibility is important because you want to stand out as the expert. Now, when I wrote my books and I started going on Fox, which was the network that kept calling me all the time to do national news media, I became highly respected in my in, in, in the corporate, in the district that I worked for, I became a leader within that district. I was very highly respected. And this is what you need to understand. It doesn't mean if you're in a corporate job that you're gonna write this book and then take off and start something new. No, you, you, you leverage. If you're a business owner, you also leverage. Because today I work with a lot of women that are coaches. And guess what? A lot of them have their own methodology and their own systems. And like I say to them, have you written about this? Because that's your intellectual property. That's going to help you stand out as the expert. So why would someone go to work with, you know, I always go to work with someone who's the expert, right? Who's who's done or who's gone where I've been, I, where I want to go. So I hire that person. I do a lot of research. And I think a lot of your audience does the same thing because, you know, they're high professionals. They want they want more. They're business owners. They want more. But you don't want to put out more money. You you want to niche and leverage. And, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But that's basically what you you should do. And so you've uh, used the word expert many times. Mm -hmm. When you first started writing the book, when your your mission was to help the parents, right. did, you un did you feel uncomfortable at any point when people said, Shelly's the expert and, and then stepping into that kind of place as the go-to person. Did you find personally that was challenging? Uh, I know for, for some of our viewers, it may be something that they struggle with because they, they're just doing what they're doing and they don't think of themselves in that frame of mind. Right. Uh, okay. So I'll share some, some intimate things with you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. I cried like the whole, I took some time <laughs> off to write the first book and I was hysterical. I cried because I'd never written a book before. Right. It's hard and it's it's like anything. When you start stepping out of your comfort zone, it's like you go to the gym and you start a new workout program and boy, you just don't want to go. But you have to. You have to get yourself through that. And then you realize, wow, once you do it, it's easy, right? So yes, anything that is new is challenging. And that's why I've put together my entire system to help people that want to do this. It's a methodology. And it's, it's important because I didn't go around saying I was the expert, but just by being on the news media and just by having books, people came to me to ask me the questions. And that's what we need to understand. It's not about, you know, because I'm I try to be very subtle and I try and help as many people as I can. But it's like, who's going to call you to ask you that question, right? That's, they don't know who you are. They can't call you. <laughs> exactly. They don't know who you are. They can't call you. So who's going to call you and ask you that question that then you can bring in and, you know, basically make them a client. And what we want is clients for life, right? Because we want to work with people that know, like, and trust us. And they know that we have their best interests at heart. Excellent. So you've talked about a book speaking be a couple ways to increase visibility or actually enhance it. What are some other ways that um, those watching could could get started with visibility? Well, a couple of things that I really suggest that you you do and it because we're all there, right? We all as business owners, you wear many hats and you do many things. So you really one of the things that I that I work with my clients on is niching down. 
you should really niche into what is your superpower. What are you really good at? And what do you want to stand out as? It doesn't mean that you're going to leave everything behind, but it means that you're going to lead with that. So people know you for that. I started being known as a person that knew the school choice options, right? Parents would call me to ask me how I could help them with the school, the best school for their child. And from there, then we started scaling and then we, we started putting together books on navigating the educational system, a Q&A. And what you need to understand is to stand out, yes, books are great, also speaking. And now we have virtual platforms because mm -hmm. when I was doing this, I, I went on media all the time, but I also did a lot of live events. I was in National Speakers Association for 10 years. I was speaking on a lot of stages and I was in front of an audience of a couple hundred uh, to a thousand at times. And I, and I thank my profession that trained me right again. I say baptism by fire because <laughs> when you see people go up on stages, you know, I feel very comfortable, but the first time I did it, I was scared to death. And it's just something that if you really want to do it, you have to practice it doing it, but to be more visible, you have to be out there. You have to, you have to stand out in a way. And it doesn't mean doing Facebook ads and, it doesn't mean that to me, I'm all about organic marketing. I'm all about referral marketing and I'm all about getting known through the best venues of where your clients are at and standing out as an expert. So niching down, doing content that is within your superpower and being known for that so that you get that phone call or you get that email or that text that someone wants to work with you. And there's lots of easy ways to do it. I subscribe to um, help a reporter out. So sometimes yeah. I'm submitting uh, one line that might make it into yeah. an article. Um, visibility, as you mentioned, is so much easier because we're doing something live right now, but right. we're not physically together. And we, no. through technology, we've made it happen. Um, right. We're doing it live, but we easily could have pre-recorded. So it's a lot more accessible um, mm -hmm. for everyone to take a small step as they're building right. into the big steps. Now, you yeah. touched, touched on it already around how you've created a system and um, you mentioned intellectual property. So productizing your knowledge is really critical to maxing that impact and influence and then creating that recurring revenue, which we're all looking for. What does that mean kind of in layman's terms and how can a book help us do that? All right. In layman's terms, you have a business, you have a product or a service and you do it every single day. Now, if you're a coach and you have one-to-one -one clients or one-to-many, you're gonna realize that there comes a point where you're maxed out with time. And we've all been there, right? You have, you, you know, you, there's just an X amount of hours in a day. So when you productize your services is you put together from that book, this is what I help my clients do. They put their superpower in that book and then we create courses, we create, speaking engagements, we create VIP days, masterminds, all kinds of things from that book, from that revenue. But the book drives you because you never want to go in front of anyone without you being able to give your product. And the book is the easiest way. Now, you mentioned about how to productize your services. And that's how you do it. You bundle up what you basically continue in your system or your methodology. If you're a coach and you have a system that you're always teaching and you know that everybody comes to you because they have the same pain point, then we create products around that pain point. And that's how you can scale to seven figures. And that's how we did it. I mean, I was able to scale to seven. It took me nine years. It takes time because nothing is overnight. Anybody that tells you, <laughs> you can do this overnight, you know, it, it takes time. It takes strategy. It takes system. It takes a team. It, it really, it's, 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 it's like the pieces of a wheel that all have to go together. But once you have, like from that book, we wrote six. So every book had their own niche. And that's what I want you to think about. Because once you write the first one, then you spin it off and that's how you get recurring revenue. It's like the domino effect. And you didn't necessarily have someone guiding you through, showing you the way, um, the way that you are now doing that. So it, it, uh, 
it certainly won't be overnight, but it may be a little bit shorter, right. um, depending how much um, the person wants to invest in their time and how, right. how quickly they want to work towards that goal. Um, so I think that's great because we know so much, um, so many professionals, we've got all this knowledge and experience and expertise, um, but if we don't do something to formalize it and, and call it our own and put a name on it, it, it can get lost and we don't mm -hmm. build up that impact and influence as you've talked about. And so, so many people I'm sure are, are thinking, I could never write a book, Jelly. Like, it's just, I, I don't even know where to start. I right. wouldn't have enough to say. <laughs> How do you help business owners do that so it becomes really manageable and something that they can actually tackle and feel not totally intimidated by? Well, as a former teacher, right? I know that we all have different learning styles. So I bring that expertise to the table because we all have different styles of learning, styles of writing, styles of speaking. So I've created a methodology and a system where you take a quick quiz and I help you create the best and easiest way for you to write. I hold your hand and you go through my system and it's, it's really easy for you. I try and give you all the tools that I never had that I paid tens of thousands of dollars to learn. So I've created my own methodology and I am writing my book about it. So my book will be out hopefully by next year on my system. But I want you to know that all the programs that I have, I individualize them. I think that's great because I might love to talk and maybe I might record my words um, to get them transposed. Uh, I might be better at writing. And so whatever is going to work best based on someone's style, I love that you're really focused on the individual. It's not just about a mass production and a mass, um, mass system, which is wonderful. And so for those watching right now uh, or who may be catching the replay and they want to increase their visibility both personally as well as professionally and, and whether it be in their business or, or corporately what are three tips or tactics they could put into practice today that would be um, nice first steps if they're not quite ready for the book so the first thing is to niche and get really good at one thing that you are known for now if you're still in a corporate job that could be you know, whatever it is that you're really good that people come to you that maybe in the future you're going to write a book about so you can teach others how to do it. If you're a business owner, you need to look at your revenue streams, what's bringing in the money, what's not. And you need to cut back and say no to those things that aren't. Look at what is, look at if you're really aligned to it and love it. And, you know, that's what I recommend. Do one thing, be known for that one thing. Because our clients get confused when we have too many things to offer. And a lot of times you open up a business and you want to make revenue. So you offer all these services, but you're not really the expert in one. So it's, it's not that you're going to not maybe do the other things in the future, but you want to drive your business with the one thing that's going to make you a superstar with your superpower. And so all your marketing, all your content right. would be geared towards that one thing. If you're speaking, you're going to talk about that. Right. If you're um, reaching out to share your expertise, you're going to make sure that's what gets highlighted. Um, so I think that's that's super clear. And I think that that um, would put our, our viewers and listeners in, in good stead with that. That's the first one. The second was is say no. If it's not a lot... <laughs> Say no. And it's hard, right? Because even me, I, I started saying no more this year than ever. But if you're still doing things that aren't aligned with where you want to go, you got to say no, because if not, it takes your energy away. And Tracy and I were talking before we got on the on the live that a lot of times, you know, it's it's just time. Time mm -hmm. is going by so fast that we just don't have time. So saying no is important, too. And I wanted to add that as one of the three. Excellent. Any other tips you got there in your, your back pocket? Um, no, just that saying no, leading with your superpower, your one thing as your message and levering everything, levering the media, levering yeah. your social media with your message, with one thing and always a call to action with your one thing. And a call to action for anybody who's listening is inviting your audience to do something with you, whether it's to sign up for your newsletter, or maybe it's to send you a note, maybe it's to listen to something or watch something. Uh, so to make it super simple. 
Um, so before I let you go, would love to hear any final tips you have for the business owners listening. And it might be something that you've already mentioned that you, mm -hmm. you think is just so important and you want to reinforce, or it might be a new parting thought that you want to leave them with. Sure. I'm going to leave you with, you need to really look at your business and maybe do like a four hour deep dive into your income streams, the money that's coming in, the money that's going out and see how you can take it and productize it so you can create more income streams from what you already have. And it's important because a lot of times, you know, we have the goals, but we're not reaching them or we're bleeding money in areas that if you, if you stop that bleeding, you'll not only be more productive, but you also get more revenue coming in. I love that. And you're, you're speaking my language because certainly I work with uh, business owners across all industries. Sales are typically under 2 million and 85% of them are not pricing right because they're doing so many right. things and they're not um, slowing down to take the time to examine those revenue streams, mm -hmm. which then you can speed up to do more of and really focus on your, your one thing. So I think that's fantastic. So you've got some exciting things that you're working on. I'd love for you to share with us as well as where people can go to learn more about you. Thank you. Yes, I am kicking off my beta 12 week program with a three month mastermind attached to it. It's kicking off September 7th. And basically you're going to come in the program and you're going to end with a published book with a business landing page, course templates, everything and leveraging the media. So I have a, a it's like a whole package together, put together. And then I'm going to put you in a three month mastermind because I want you to be successful. I want to make sure that we do your revenue streams. We do your whole scaling system and I'm going to be there to help and coach you along the way. And then you can stay in the mastermind after three months if that's what you want. But for all the listeners out there today, I do have a, a, a gift for everybody. I am doing a little mini snippet appetizer of what this whole 12 week system is about. I'm doing a masterclass and that's going to launch August 23rd. And Tracy has the link. So I welcome you to, to join. If not, send me, you know, a text or go on my, my LinkedIn and, uh, and, you know, just let me know that you want to get on a call with me. I'm here to help in any way that I can. I've been there. I know how frustrating it is. I bled a lot of money myself. I spent too much money on programs that didn't get me anywhere. And I realized that everything was piecemealed, right? How to do a landing page, how to do a funnel, how to write a book, how to do this. And I've put it together in an easy and individualized way for everyone. And here's the other thing that I want to share with everybody. If you come to me and you want to be a number one Amazon bestseller, that's awesome. But that's not what I do. What I do is I help. I teach you how to make money. That's what I do. Excellent. Well, I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that with us today. I will drop the link in the chat so everybody can get registered for the masterclass, as well as the ways to contact you. Um, because certainly whether this may not um, be the thing that they're looking for, um, but um, it could be that they want to talk to you about something else. And we've got some sure. uh, great comments there. Uh, fantastic session. Thank you, uh, Chelly and Tracy. So that's wonderful. Uh, I really appreciate you being here today because I think that at, at times we don't necessarily focus enough on our impact and our influence, which is so key to driving revenue. But then we also diminish and play down our accomplishments and our experience. So we're not taking the next step to productize it, as you talked about. And you've really shared how you went from being a principal to what you've created. And now you're taking all of your expertise and going to be able to help others do the exact same thing. Right. Um, thank you, um, Tanya Singh, as well. Um, great session. So uh, I know that there's so much value that was packed in here today. In terms of the final tips that you provided, I, I think they're fantastic. So niche down or, or niche as I, I see yeah. there's a difference in Canada and the US, uh, say no and certainly leverage the media. So um, mm -hmm. don't do more, um, make more of what you're actually doing and right. really build yourself up as that authority and that expert, which is wonderful. Um, so I'll drop all the links so that um, you can find Shelly and you reach out, join her for the masterclass. Uh, thank you, Jill, appreciate the, the nice feedback as well. Um, so thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Shelly, I know it's been fantastic. So really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you, Tracy. It's been, it's been great being here with you and sharing a little bit of what I do with your audience and hopefully I, I've helped them 
that they can start making a little bit more money or, you know, bringing in an extra income stream just from our talk today. So th this is what I'm all about. I know that you and I are here to educate and empower, you know, the okay. world. So absolutely yeah. and i love that um you bring it all back to examining income streams creating mm -hmm. that recurring revenue uh, which lines up wonderful for for where the messaging i'm always providing and so uh, it's been my privilege to have you here today yeah. for those who are watching who want to keep the the biz money conversation going we do have our weekly meetup at bizmoneyclub.com you can get set up it's a casual meetup and we would love to have you join us so that we can keep this dialogue going so until next time, take good care and stay financially fit.